EU told the one very important reason why it can't delay trade talks until after Brexit. Brexit Secretary David Davis is calling on Brussels to allow withdrawal negotiations and trade talks to go ahead at the same time. European Commission chiefs have made it clear they want talks to take place in two stages, Britain's departure followed by discussions on trade. But Mr Davis insists the two subjects must be discussed in parallel and is putting pressure on his EU counterparts to revise their timetable. Writing in the Sunday Times he said, Nowhere is that point trill than on the question of Northern Ireland it is simply not possible to reach a near final agreement on the border issue until we've begun to talk about how our broader future customs arrangement will work. Furthermore, if we get the comprehensive free trade agreement we are seeking as part of our future partnership, solutions in Northern Ireland are easier to deliver. Brussels chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier has repeated his claim that progress must be made on Britain's financial obligations, the rights of EU citizens living in the UK and the Irish border, before customs and future trade relationships appear on the agenda but Mr Davis argues progress on Ireland and the divorce bill are being hampered by the Commission's inflexible approach to the negotiating timetable and he warned with the clock ticking it would not be in either side's interest to run aspects of the negotiations twice. He claimed both sides will need to be flexible and willing to compromise at times to achieve the desired outcome. The Brexit department will publish five new papers next week, including two formal position papers on the continuity in the availability of goods and confidentiality of documents Mr Davis said. Over the coming weeks and months more papers will be published because we are ready to sit down with the European Commission and continue to, to discuss how we want to work together in the future. We mustn't forget our overarching aim to build a deep and special new partnership with our closest neighbours and allies while also building a tri-global Britain that can forge new relationships with fast-growing economies around the world. That's what I'll be negotiating for when I meet Mr. Barnier again at the end of this month. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.